So hello and welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. We are back for another Will I Buy It? where I sit down and ch chat with you guys about new makeup releases that came out this past week inspired by these lovely ladies over here. I've got my coffee so I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little Levi there at the beginning. I feel like it's been a while since he's been in a video. He's usually off playing and whatnot but today he was very attached to my side. So there you go. A little snapshot of Levi as I got my coffee this morning. But yeah, this week we are going to dive into a more new makeup releases. If you are new to my Will I Buy It talk about new makeup releases videos, I tend to focus very heavily on indie, but I just do whatever catches my attention, whatever I think will be interesting and fun to chit chat with you guys about. So yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into talking about the new makeup releases that came out this past week. Okay, first on the list is a sneak peek from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is going to be their holiday palette and it is called the Silent Night Palette and they gave a digital mock-up of the palette so we can see what it looks like Oop, right here. Um, it looks really pretty. I think definitely when I look at it, I think of Christmas time and it definitely goes with the theme of the front of the palette. Overall, I think it's nice. I don't know if I'll be purchasing it and picking it up. I think it'll depend on what it actually looks like in real life when we actually see the shadows and also too maybe the the price of it and the shipping and whatnot. I have tried one palette from Glaminatrix and the price of the palette with shipping was like at or over a hundred dollars. It was expensive and while I think their formula is amazing, they're definitely a little too pricey for me. So while I appreciate it, I look at this and I think of winter. So I think they got the color story spot on, but considering, you know, that I've tried them already, that I do know I like them, I am probably going to be passing on it just because the color story doesn't like immediately grab my attention. I'm, at least at this present moment, I'm not super into these very wintry tones. I'm still loving the fall and the grunge and whatnot. But anyway, all I have to say, I don't think I'll pick it up, but we only have a mock-up right now, so we shall see. But I do think they did a great job with the color story at Mac the theme of the palette and the outside of the palette. I do like that. So Essence launched a couple things. They have the But First Coffee Collection and they have a ton of stuff here. Let's see, they have a body scrub, they have a highlighter beans that looks like coffee. That's cute. They got some brushes, a little, oop, a neutral palette. Also looks like a body and mind wake up mind or wake up mist a face scrub and then a, a lip scrub. So a lot of different things. I don't plan to pick anything up but I am not gonna lie I'm half tempted to get the bronzer or no the highlighter just because it like looks like coffee beans but I kind of wish they would have done the coffee beans with an actual bronzer because then they could have gotten the color of the beans. As it is I feel like they have to keep them very light because they are shiny their highlighter and whatnot so I don't know I feel like it's a little bit of like I don't know maybe it's just the coffee I drink but the coffee I drink is like very dark beans before I grind them up so to see this like they're super duper light but it's still a cute idea. So very cute collection, definitely comma eye, but I don't have plans to pick anything up. Okay, Prados Beauty is a newer brand to me. They launched a couple things that have caught my eye and I've been following them and they just dropped this today. It's a new collection. Let's see, this is the Prados Beauty Times Stephen Paul Judd Indigenous People's Day 2020. 2020, 2021 collection. So let's see, they have a bunch of stuff in this collection. They don't list prices for everything, so we'll just take an up-close look. They have face palettes, it looks like a bronzer, and blush palettes. They got a, a mirror there, they got lashes, they got lipsticks up in here, and then a palette, and what else? Also a liner, and I believe I read that the liner is a adhesive liner, so you can use it to stick the lashes down. And oh, also I guess that's more of a highlightery palette over there. Anyway, lots in this collection, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna get it just because I love the artwork on the cover, like that is a beautiful absolutely beautiful. I think they did a fantastic job. But looking at the color story specifically and just kind of focusing on that, I, th I think it's kind of fun. I just noticed that for their letters, they don't have names, but they have the Prados at the top and then numbers on the side. So it can, you can kind of like battleship it and be like, I used uh, 2A in my crease and then I used 4D in on my lid. That's kind of cool. Anyway, looking strictly at the color story, they said they wanted to get a wide array of colors, you know, to get both neutral and colorful, a variety of finishes and whatnot. Not. I don't think there's any glitters, but because of that, you know, kind of mindset that that's what they wanted is a little too big for me. This is a very large palette and it has all that mix of colors. It has lots of like the reds and pinks and neutrals. It does have that little corner down there, that little nine pan corner that definitely is the most, like my eyes focus on the most because it's like the green with a little bit of pastel blue and purple thrown in there. I think that's very pretty, but it's just too big for me. I'm really trying to hold back on palettes because you guys know I got a ton and a palette this big is just so very large and while I think the palette is beautiful as a whole, it doesn't really draw me in and like make me excited to create looks with it so I am going to be passing but this is brand new and I think it is officially launched or um, dropping on the 8th. So if you're curious, they're dropping on the 8th on their website. 
Next up, from Kylie Cosmetics, she's launching this a Nightmare on Elm Street collection, launching on the 12th. Here's the look of the palette, which usually the palette is what always catches my eyes, but she also has lashes, looks like maybe a lip scrub, some lip products. Um, this looks nice. I think for Kylie Cosmetics, I feel like she really sticks to the neutrals or just like heavy on the neutrals. And I mean, this still is like half neutral, but at least with the reds, like she's got some depth in there, some intensity it looks like, seeing it swatched out up here. It looks pretty. I think it's nice. Uh, I don't have any plans to pick it up, though. Just no interest. I don't know. No interest in picking it up. I feel like I got a ton here. It's not really calling to me. The red and neutral theme isn't really calling to me, so I'm going to be passing on it, but it is something new from Kylie Cosmetics. So we got some holiday stuff dropping, of course, and this is Too Faced holiday items. It looks like they have a little lip set for their lip injection and then a little bundle for this adorable adorable you're so hot bronzer and it comes with a lip gloss as well but look at this bronzer I want it just to own <laughs> not even to use it like I don't even care to use it I think that's so cute I know if I got it like my daughter would just want to keep it and like never let me use it because she she would think it's cute as well I think that's adorable I don't plan to pick it up just because I don't know if I was gifted it, yes, I would be all about it. I would think it's so very cute. I'd probably use it very carefully, but honestly, I don't know if I could use it because it's so cute, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it to own it, if that makes sense. So that's going to, both of those are an easy pass. And then we have some Tarte Cosmetics also looks like, or is this Too Faced? Too Faced, too, oh, this is all Too Faced? That's Too Faced, it looked like Tarte. It's been so long since I've been super interested in Tarte or Too Faced. I get them confused, but anyway, also looks like some palettes, uh, some face palettes. Literally their holiday palettes look the same from year to year. And it's been going this way since I got into, really got into makeup about eight years ago or so. Too Faced, you could do something a little original every now and then. Like, nobody would freak out. But anyway, overall, this is easey pass. Very easy pass for me. So ColourPop launched something new. Of course they did. Obviously, new week, new ColourPop. But this is the, oh, what's it called? Mega palette named Play It Jewel. And they also came out with an eye primer, which I think is very neat because I don't think they had one beforehand. So that makes sense. But then this palette... Uh, I meant to go back and save it in better lighting because that wasn't great lighting. Here we go. This is a more, at least, ColourPop is giving another picture of it. I tell you, trying to figure out what palettes look like these days gets very difficult when each picture looks different. But anyway, here is a picture of it, and I think it looks very pretty, especially this little part right here. This little line pan here. And then a couple other colors, not to say everything else doesn't, but this in right here is what intrigues me. I think, feel like everything else around it just looks like more of the same that they've been doing for so very long, so it's way too big for me. It's an easy pass, but I do really like those pops of colors. They look really pretty. Like, look up here. Like, this top half, I feel like, of the palette is pretty and enticing, but the bottom half is just totally leave it, not interested at all. So it's a new huge palette from ColourPop, and it's another easy pass for me. So Joa Beauty is launching this uh, Radiant Skin. Let me see. This was a sneak peek, but they did launch it. Here it is. This Crystal Glow Prime Dation All-in-One Foundation. I am so intrigued. I meant to pick it up because when they launched it, is it still free? You can, uh, okay, so you can score a free full size. Oh, wait, full size. I thought it was a deluxe size. Wow, you can buy the foundation or get the foundation for free? Just pay shipping. I've never seen that for a launch. That, I, that's just very, like, not off-putting, but it's just very interesting. That just right off the bat just gives me, like, those sketchy email vibes of, like, just pay shipping and then you can have this for free. But I don't know. I'll have to see if it's available. I don't know. Should I pick it up? I guess it depends on how much shipping is. But even if shipping's like, five bucks, five bucks for a foundation. All-in-one foundation. I'm so intrigued by that. Let's see. Um, natural coverage packed with a smoothing primer and a powerful skincare. I'll put it on the screen here if I bought it tonight because I'm I'm very tempted. But something new from them. I feel like it's going to be too glowy for me. However, if it's free and I just have to pay for shipping, my wheels are turning. Okay, I mentioned this in my late break news last week, but Lunar Beauty did drop a new palette. This is called the Miss Moonspell to $48. Um, I think it's a pretty palette. I feel like it's definitely like on brand for Lunar Beauty. I feel like this definitely is his vibe. It's always the, like the purples and reds and whatnot. And it looks pretty. It looks like an extended version of last year. So I think last year had a lot of green in it. So that kind of makes sense. It's something different. So they took kind of took out the greens and just kind of focused on more of the red and, or not red, the pink and purple. Also some lip products. Um, I'm not into pink and purple, you guys know, so this as a whole just doesn't call to me, and I'm just not into the packaging and the theme, so it's an easy pass for me, but I do think it's a good launch for Lunar Beauty. Seems a bit large, I feel like. Maybe that's just me, but anyway, regardless, I'm passing. Alien Cosmetics dropped some brushes. Let's see, they have a set for $28. I like the color. 
obviously. I'm sure that doesn't come as a surprise to you, but I'm not going to be picking it up just because I feel like the, the shape and the sizes aren't going to work for me. Like the face brushes I think are great, but I have like 50 of each type of these brush already. So focusing on the eyeshadow brushes, which I can justify having more because I just don't have time to clean them all the time, so I like having duplicate type of brushes, but even like focusing on them, they're just, they seem a little bit too large and not the ideal shape that I prefer to have a lot of in my collection. I feel like these type of brushes I don't use often, so I have enough, I don't need to be getting more. So it's a, overall an easy pass for me, but I do like the black and green a lot. All right, so I mentioned this, I think in last uh, week's late break news as well, but Beauty Bay is collaborating with Jade Thurwall, Jade Amelia Thurwall. Um, she put this palette together and I think the palette is very pretty. Once again, I feel like Beauty Bay does this a lot with the really large palettes is that they like, or maybe it's Be Perfect that I'm thinking of. I feel like I get Be Perfect and Beauty Bay confused a lot because I kind of discovered both of them around the same time. But anyway, they have a, like a half neutral, half colorful, very large palette. So I think aspects of this palette is very pretty. Definitely, I think it looks gorgeous. It's just such a big palette and there's so many aspects of the palette while yes I do like them. There's also equal amounts or even more so that I'm just not super into. So overall this is going to be a very easy pass for me. These swatches. I, I miss the days of just simple finger swatches because I feel like I can see things and tell things so much better than like the pretty swatches. Not to say they're not pretty. I love pretty swatches. They're very nice and very artistic and whatnot but Especially these stars are so small, I can't even see the, all the colors. And it makes it just look so much less colorful having all the colors so small. I guess they had to fit them all on an arm somehow. Anyway, congrats to Jade and the collaboration. You know, that's exciting for her, but for me personally, my preference is it's gonna be an easy pass. Okay, so BH Cosmetics just randomly dropped a bunch of palettes and didn't really like announce it. I feel like I was hearing it through the grapevine instead of like from the brand. It was really weird, but this is a new collection. Um, I think it's just for Halloween. I forget what exactly the collection is called called but as you can see it's monochromatic palettes there's a blue a purple a pink a like mauve not mauve a, like a cool tone purple gray a green and then a more orange neutral I was very tempted in the green one not gonna lie I was so close to getting it it was available at Ulta pretty quick and I love those bright greens I love all greens obviously but I almost picked it up however I talked myself out of it because a I have a lot of palettes <laughs> my my way of talking myself out of a lot of things these days but B also too is there's only three mattes to six shimmers and you guys know my preference is more mattes than shimmers especially with a monochromatic palette I feel like I can be more creative with a very strictly one monochromatic palette with only one color in there if I have more mattes of different depths and whatnot to play with instead of more shimmers I don't know I feel like for me personally that's a little bit limiting so I did pass on it but it is available um Karen Harris did a video comparing it to other green monochromatic palettes that BH Cosmetics has launched previously so I definitely recommend that you check out our video I'll try to link it down below in the description box after the video uh, this video premieres but check it out because if you miss those previous palettes and you really wanted it like the pistachio I forget if it's still in stock or not maybe this would be a good option to get those colors that really drew you to the previous palettes from BH Cosmetics but anyway all that to say I'm not gonna be picking this up but check out Karen Harris's video if you want to hear about it and see it swatched Hip Dot is collaborating with the Adams Family and the packaging on this, I have, Hip Dot does this all the time. They do the packaging so very well. I, thought, I think it's very well done. And the palette, even the palette, the color story, I think is very well done for the theme of the palette being, at, or the collection being Adams Family. But with saying that, like, I'm just not super into that color story. So while I appreciate the art artisticness of, you know, keeping with the theme and all that, I think they did that very well for me personally. It's not a color story I'm into. It's not a theme I'm into. I'm, I'm into the Adams Family. I do like the lipsticks. I think that's really cool with the etchwork and stuff. But overall, it's all going to be a very easy pass for me just because I'm not into the color story. Okay, I can't remember if I talked about this in last week's video. Is that bad? But anyway, I'm going to talk about it very briefly here. Adept Cosmetics is launching another palette here soon. I cannot pronounce it, but you can see it right there on the screen. It has six mattes, three shimmer shadows, two shimmery multi-chrome shadows, and one shimmery topper. There's no glitter, talc, or mineral oil. It's going to be $56. I had a lot of people saying they want to see what I think about this. I'm very torn because while I appreciate that there's more mattes in it, the mattes aren't strictly up my alley because they're more like neutral purple. Although I think it's pretty not to say that it's not. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't excite me. Um, and also I feel like Adept Cosmetics has like really cutthroat launches. Like anytime I've seen them launch something, everyone's just like, I can't get on the website or I had it in my cart and it disappeared. And I'm just like, 
I don't know, you guys know me, I always show up late. Like anytime I have a launch, I think the only time I was like super on time for lunch was Shroud Cosmetics and I was there like two seconds after the hour hit. But typically I'm there a couple minutes after. So I typically, if it's a really, you know, sought after launch, I feel like I always miss it. So I think that's the biggest reason I'm just like, ah. I don't, you know, and also to the color story, where I like the palette. It just, it doesn't totally sell me. The biggest reason I would be purchasing it is to like review it and try the brand. I don't know, I'm very torn. So let me know again if you would like to see this and maybe I'll get it, but I think I'm just going to watch from the sidelines because their launches intimidate me, I guess. <laughs> Okay, Beauty Bay, this is the one I talked about in last week's Late Break News, I believe, but they also launched another palette. So they had the collab palette and then they launched this a couple days before, Age of Opulence palette. This palette was a super easy pass for me because right away when I looked at it, I was like, isn't that the Book of Magic palette? Now they're not the same, but they are very close. And if you're someone who isn't super into like blue purple themed palettes, like me, you'll probably look at this and be like, it's exactly the same. So. For me personally, I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't want the Book of Magic, I don't want this, it's an easy pass, but if you are someone who's into blue and purples, it's like me and greens, I'm sure, you probably see the difference and will want this, but for me, as I said, since I'm not into the this color story, I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know, I just don't, I don't have any interest in getting it, it's gonna be an easy pass. Okay, next is I want to talk about a brand sneak peek. This is Rose and Ben Beauty. Now, if you don't know Rose and Ben, that she's an Instagrammer and she does daily tutorials. So if you're someone who just likes those, you know, classic tutorials that you feel like you don't really see on YouTube or Instagram anymore, you need to be following Rose and Ben because at least when I, I'm getting bad at watching her in the past few months, but when I was really watching her every single day, she would have a new tutorial. She would rarely ever miss. Oh, I haven't drank my coffee at all. Hang on, let me take a pause. I've been so busy talking. I've just forgotten to drink my coffee. But anyway, um, so yeah, if you like the tutorials, definitely check her out over on Instagram. But anyway, she just sneak peeked and announced that she's starting a brand. As you can see, it's Rose and Ben Beauty, but there has yet to be any announcement of what she is launching. I got my fingers crossed for a palette, but we'll see. She did post this and said, um, I used something from Rose and Ben Beauty for this look. What do you think? I feel like it's gonna be, if I had a guess, I feel like it's going to be lipstick. Cause I feel like that's the focal, or maybe they, they, she's trying to deceive by having a really glossy lipstick that's really beautifully ombre. Because her eyeshadow also looks very pretty. Like I think the eyeshadow is pretty, though if it was that she's launching a palette, I feel like it's gonna be a neutral palette. But she does some very pretty, very creative looks, really colorful looks as well. So we'll see. I'm just excited for her and this new venture starting a brand. And whenever she does announce her products, I'll definitely be mentioning them here. But just wanted to share with you guys, she's starting a brand. So Give Me Glow is gonna be launching the new Glow Harder Shimmer and Glitter Primer coming soon in new packaging and new formula. I never tried that before, so I'm really curious about this. She has uh, said a couple times that they're gonna be dropping a ton of stuff for Black Friday, so my eye is gonna be on Give Me Glow when Black Friday comes around, and I'm probably gonna be making an order. And if I do end up making an order, I do wanna try to pick up this primer because I like trying out glitter primers and you know shimmer primers to help my shimmers stay and not transfer into my crease and whatnot. And right now I only have two that I go back and forth from, so I wouldn't mind trying another one. Or I guess, I also have the Alamar Cosmetics, though that's an all-over primer, but I often use it just for like shimmers on my lid. Anyway, getting off topic here, <laughs> all I have to say, I have my eye. I definitely want to probably pick it up if I do place an order or whenever. When that, whenever the next time I place an order from Giving Glow, I would like to pick it up. Okay, this is definitely old news. Let me see when I save this. September 15th, but I wanted to mention it because it's a new brand to me. Claro Psychic. Claro Psychic. I'm sorry, I know I'm not saying that right. My apologies, but look at this palette. Isn't that pretty? It's an all matte palette. I love the packaging, I love the butterfly, and I think the color story is really pretty. I love that green up there, obviously, that aura. Very pretty. Um, I have never heard anything about this brand. This is one I saved, obviously, a long time ago, and I haven't had a chance to talk about it because I always am just piled high with other launches and whatnot, and I try to keep these videos short, but I'm doing good at times, so I'm gonna mention it here. But I think this is really pretty. I obviously didn't plan to get it because I, I didn't purchase it, or I would have purchased it right after launch, but this is the Butterfly Palette, $45, available now. And a lot of really pretty, looks like vibrant and pastel matte shadows that I, I don't know, I just thought this palette was pretty so I wanted to share it with you guys. And let me know if you've heard of this brand before. Like I said, I'm brand new to the brand. But uh, yeah, curious has definitely caught my eye and intrigued me. And then last palette that is older, I, I say this in August, but I had to save it because it just caught my eye. This is from Makeup Obsession and this is their Inhale and Exhale Mini Palettes. Look at how cute they are. 
Look at the butterfly. When you put them together, they like match perfectly, but then they can be their own palette. And then inside, one's more of a neutral pink, and then one's a very colorful. Obviously, my eyes went to the color, and I feel like that's a really pretty array of colors as well. I wish the purple was like a true matte, and then a different one of the lighter tones were a shimmer, because I feel like that purple shimmer up there is like the darker color. But as a like a spring pastel palette, that little nine pan palette looks perfect. It looks so very cute, but I think the biggest thing that caught my attention was this aspect of them both going together. But even by itself, even if it was just one palette, I feel like that's also really pretty to have half of a butterfly like that. I don't know. It just caught my eye and I've had it saved here for forever to talk to you guys about it. So I figured I would mention it here at the end since I had some time, but I thought it was cute. Very, very cute. All right, so those are all the launches I'm gonna be talking about today. Per usual, any late breaking news is gonna go on over here. I am filming this video a little bit early. It's a Wednesday, so there might be some late breaking news going on over here. And if it's super big and something I'm super into, I'll definitely talk about it later. But I just like to shout it out here so you guys know that I saw it. And I usually export, I try to export these videos on a Friday afternoon. So <laughs> whenever something comes out like Friday night into Saturday morning, I'm always like, just missed it. Just missed putting in the video. But anyway, I can always talk about it next week. So yeah, that is everything. Nothing too big this week. I mean, a lot of, I shouldn't say nothing too big. There was a lot of neat releases, but nothing that like grabbed my attention that I'm super like struggling to not buy or to buy that sort of thing. I feel like for the most part, like things I could appreciate how pretty they were, but I just easily said no to everything basically. Oh, except for that um, primer or not primer, that foundation from Joa. I might pick that up if it's still free. Pay shipping? How much can shipping be? If it's like $15, then I won't pay for shipping, but if it's only a couple bucks, I don't know. I might pick it up. You guys already know at this point if I picked it up or not, but anyway, those are all the releases. Per usual, let me know what products stood out to you that we talked about today. Did you pick up anything this week makeup related, or are you holding off for Black Friday? I feel like as we get closer, especially like going into November, it's just like, oh, just wait till Black Friday and see what people launch or what sales, you know, happen and whatnot. Yeah, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. If you want to continue getting daily content from me, I'm over on Instagram at LadyKatie92. And yeah, this video, I feel like this video is very short and sweet, but hey, it's probably going to be one of my normal lengths. It maybe just feels short and sweet because there was nothing super exciting to, for me to like yammer on and on about. So that could be it. But anyway, regardless, it was a fun video chatting with you guys, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video on Tuesday. Bye guys.